Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for taking once again. So, on this video, as you can see by the title, I already did one of these videos when I first started, but now I'm gonna update it and actually put where I got the parts. So, this is gonna be a full model list of my 350Z with the place where I got the parts. Hopefully, this is helpful for someone that's starting in the Z community, starting in the Z game, and don't really know where to get the parts. I get a lot of questions on where I get my wheels, where I get my hatch, where I get my hood, etc., etc. So on this video, I hope it answers a lot of your questions. So let's get right into it. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is the infamous Tome. It's a Tome single exit exhaust. I got it pretty close to when I got the car. Um, I bought it from Unique Motorsports in Rancho Cucamonga. Um, I'm not sure if he still sells them, but I'm pretty sure like if you ask him for it, like he could get them for you. So that's where I got that part. Ooh. Oh wow. Wait, I was saying, okay. So that's where I got the Tome. That's where I got my exhaust. So once again, it's a Tome Extreme T exhaust. Suspension. A lot of people have asked me what's done to my car suspension wise. If I have camera kits, blah, blah, blah. I'm actually just lower on coilovers. Tain. They're Tain, Tain. How the fuck you say it? Um, they're Flex Z coilovers. Tain, Flex Z coilovers. So that's the suspension. That's it. Let's move around to this side of the car. So my wheels. I've gotten a lot of questions on where I got my wheels from, what website, what um, wheel place or whatever. I actually, I got really lucky with these wheels. I was actually looking to buy some, but the CR2Ps, the next generation of these wheels, while I was selling my Barstowins, my Barstowin ES2s. I randomly get a message on Facebook saying, hey, are you down to trade plus cash on your end? I was like, dude, say fucking less. So yeah, that's where I got my wheels. They were originally white, but I powder coated them silver. So yeah, if you guys do have a Facebook account, or like think Facebook is like outdated. It is not, trust me, for the car community, it is not. Go into those Facebook groups, you will find a lot of good deals, a lot of things that maybe even discontinue, you will find them on there for steals. All right, so now moving on to this little part of my car. It's, I have some side blades as Eric was calling them, but I know they're called something else. I got them from Type Zero. It's located out here in Riverside, California. I'm pretty sure he'll ship. So that's where I got those. I got actually the last ones in gloss black, or so he said. Moving around to the front of the car. The carbon hood so i got this carbon hood through a friend of mine his name is jeff 50 z his instagram will be right here he has in my opinion the best prices on carbon he has the hookups trust me he's willing to hook you guys up just tell him that i sent you and he'll give you the best price out there trust me so that's why i got it this is a, a vis gt terminator hood or terminator gt hood and for the headlights i got them custom made this is actually one of my most popular questions where did you get your headlights who did them blah 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 they're customized by SoCal Retrofit. I'll put his Instagram right here. So yeah, they're pretty much, they're black house with a uh, red shroud and demonized. Mo um, what is it called? The Bluetooth demonized pretty much, pretty much any color. Um, now onto this, these little shits. The eyelids, the carbon fiber eyelids. I got these on Amazon for $40 and they're real carbon fiber. So that's where I got them from. And this little shit, something that makes the car all tying together this this nissan emblem so for this nissan emblem i got it on ebay i think it was like 20 dollars or something like that instead of like actually painting it or whatever i just got it there and now moving on to the lip this lip is a kvd lip it's the ink style lip i think it's called it's painted gloss black moving on to the rear of the car the carbon fiber hatch my newest mod the mod that i kind of regret but i like at the same time <laughs> So I got this also through Jeff 50Z. Gave me a hell of a steal as well. It's a VIS tunnel hatch. And another question I get a lot, where did I get this? This is real carbon fiber. It's a carbon fiber license plate on Amazon for like 150. And for what's not on the car, I have a real spoiler that I haven't put on. Oh, I mean, it's the one on my old hatch. I got that also from KVD. It was a KVD Rocket Bunny spoiler. I have some Nismo wheels at home. The Nismos, I got them off of Craigslist or some dude. I actually follow him on Instagram if you're watching this. What's up, homie? Um, I got them off of him. Pretty good price as well. Oh, yeah, the other sets of wheels I had. I had some Barstow ones. I got those on Facebook. I'm telling you guys, the Facebook marketplace is the place to go. I got them for a good-ass price too. They were matte black. And I put the rest box sticker on them, like right in this picture. My other setup, I'll put a picture right here. 
I had tire stickers. The tire stickers I got in the local store, a local like little car store called Game Over here in Fontana. That's where I got them, they're like 100 bucks. And now a mod that I've had for I don't know how long, but I haven't installed them. And right now I think they're at the wrap shop. I think they're, I'm pretty sure they're done, but I just don't want to go pick them up. My G35 mud guards, they're not there. They are not there. I've had them for like six months. I had them already black, they were wrapped. And then on the bottom of the of the wrap, they were black. So And my car was black back then. So I was just gonna slap them on, but I didn't. <laughs> And then I gave them to Chris and Chris gave me some brand new ones. And I never put, I never wrapped them, I never put them on until like, I think it was like a week ago I sent them to the wrap shop. And they're getting wrapped right now, they're already wrapped. So that's gonna come out really soon. And where I got them, I got them. The mud guards that I originally had gotten, I had gotten them through a friend. But Chris ended up keeping them and Chris, I don't know where, I'm not sure where Chris got them at. I'll ask him and I'll put this in the video right here. My other setup I had, my other hatch, I had lubers. I had Zaki, Zaki stick or Zaku stick, I'm not sure how they, they call it. I had the louvers. I got them through my friend Oscar, the owner of Society. He gave me a good deal on them. But if you guys want some, you go, you can also hit up Jeff Z. Just go on Society and um, they'll be there. On Society.org or whatever. And the most obvious mod, the thing that pops out the most, the color. So, for you guys that don't know, for you guys that are new to the channel, my car was originally black. For example, the roof is not wrapped, it's actual paint. It's my actual paint. So, it was, it used to be black, but it was not painted it was wrapped they were wrapped by my boys true auto creations i'll drop their instagram right here they did a hell of a job so it is actually i get this question a lot too what color is it it's carmine red carmine red everybody this is what it looks like if you guys ever wondered so yeah the car is wrapped not painted now on to performance mods the thing you guys have all been waiting for oh i got text all right so the first thing that I ever did to my car was a Tommy, like I had said already. Bro, like I said already, I got the Tommy, so I already put that in the video. The next thing I got were some engine cold air intakes. I got those on Redline Racing 360 or Redline360.com for like four something. So I got those. For test pipes, I got some more than our pipes. I got those off a friend that was parting out his car, or well, not parting out, but he was changing setup. They're like practically brand new, so I got them off of him. But I'm pretty sure you could get them on Z1 or Z1 Motorsports or like um, Redline 362. So, and then I also have a Megan White Pipe. I got that the same day I got tuned. So, I got that through Unique Motorsports in Rancho Cucamonga as well. He gave me a good deal on that one. Now for my transmission. Well, obviously I have a stock transmission, but I do have a Stage 3 clutch. I have an Action Stage 3 clutch with the stock flywheel. I always get asked if I have a modified flywheel or like or a lightweight flywheel, I mean. But I don't. I got that through a friend of mine. His Instagram is right here, Z33Ds. He got me the, the clutch and installed it for me at a good price. If you guys wanna hit him up for clutch needs, go ahead and hit him up. That's a really good clutch. It, I mean, it hooks, as you guys already seen my pull. Not hooks, but it grabs at me. So my car is tuned. My car is tuned by Saloon Dismal Knight. He tuned the car on my intake, my test pipe, my white pipe, and my exhaust at first. I went back for a flame app. And then I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go back for another little popular map. It's called the Crackle Map or the Brackle Map, whatever you guys know it as. It makes it pop really loud. I got those two maps through him, obviously my tuner. They're really fun. They're really fun. Like, I, it's addicting to drive with those shits on. I even have an exhaust seat because of that shit. <laughs> Back to the headlights. So, these aren't brand new headlights. These are 11 year old, 20, 12 year old headlights. Have you ever wondered why they're so clean? My boy Dusty to Ducky restore them. Here's his Instagram if you guys wanna hit him up. He restores. He also tinted my rear turn singles. And like I said earlier, these wheels were not white, were not silver. They were white. I got them powder coated. I got them powder coated through his Instagram is right here. Good price, good work. Now for the interior of the car. So my interior is pretty much stock. Excuse me because of the mess. It's pretty much stock. Actually, my car is a base model, so it didn't have cruise control buttons. So I got them off of my friend's DE. So these are actually DE um, um, cruise control buttons. So besides that, 
I have a in focus shift boot and a Mishimoto shift knob just that it's upside down it doesn't mean west side or anything so I got that and then I have a pioneer double din and for the inside that's pretty much it major interior work will for sure be happening in the Z 2020 so stay tuned for that one as well and that is pretty much it for this video guys that's pretty much all my mods the reason I did this video is because I got a lot of questions on where I've gotten my stuff what's done to my car etc etc so I decided why not just make a video on it that is what's done to JZ33's 350Z and where I got them from. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and smash that like button for me. If you guys enjoyed, if this helped you. And go ahead and smash that subscribe button as well because we're growing, we're growing. And thank you guys so much. The channel has been growing so fast. It, like, it makes me so happy like it's not even funny. So thank you guys and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.